the unique organism of the human species. It has human DNA. It develops like a human, right? These are all ways we understand what we're looking at. But it's not fully functioning. Does fully functioning determine whether or not you're worth protecting? Yes, because you can't survive on your own. So if you can't survive on your own, you don't deserve to be protected. That's the principle you want me to accept? What do you, what do you have to say, Elena? I am pro-choice. Um, okay. I am all for every person having, you know, the right to each their own. You know what I mean? Um, what it, does that mean? I'm not sure I know what that means. Everyone having the right to their own body. Okay. But it's not just the mother's body. It's the body of another individual. That's what makes it so complicated. So we're not just dealing with the mother's body. explain well the baby in the womb has its mm -hmm. own body it has its own being its own genetic code its own sex determined at conception by uh -huh. four weeks it's going to have its own fingernail it's going to have a heartbeat mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. at, at five weeks you're going to see kidneys starting to be formed okay. i mean this is a its own body um, with its own organs so right can you remove it and put it somewhere else um, would that be good for the child? I don't know. You tell me. The answer would be no. To remove the child from the environment that is needed to sustain the child's life would not be good like, for the child. So you shouldn't do it. If there was like a like some type of like surrogacy thing, do you know what I mean? Like there could be some sort of it's where you can transport the baby that's developing within you to another womb and use them as some sort of vessel to carry your child. I mean, honestly, it might not be a, a person. It might have to be like um, machinery. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that if that kept the child alive and it didn't affect the development of the child in some negative way, then I would, I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm telling you right now, I'm against that. But however, that would be a much better outcome than offing the kid. So I would make concessions there if I absolutely needed to. But that still is, is quite weird to me. I think that you're obligated to your child and it's okay to say that we should uh, expect mothers um, to care for their children. Uh, but if that was available uh, and that's what we had to do so that we could get people to stop offing their kids, then I would do it. I think the biggest problem is both sides of this. Our biggest arguments are what if. You know what I mean? Like what if um, the child stayed and became you know i hear a lot of those excuses like oh they're going to become a genius or well no i, I don't actually care if the child becomes a genius because i think that, that human I'm value comes from intrinsic matters being, just as a human being they're, they're i'm saying they're placing value whether it be high or not you know they're yeah. a genius or not it doesn't matter they're just placing value on something that's not alive Okay, well, it is alive. From the point it's conceived, it's alive. So it, it's, an, it's, it's developing. Their, it's growing. The cells it's are dividing. Their, it's in their learned trigonometry? Uh, no, but a lot of people will never understand trigonometry somehow, some way. But that doesn't mean that they don't have oh. value because their value comes from intrinsic, uh, an intrinsic reality that they are of the nature of a human and we value all humans. So if you value all humans, why are you not sure. valuing the mother? Well, we do. How can you, but how can you force them? You can't force anybody to do anything. Well, we can. We can have expectations of our fellow brethren to of act course. in a certain way, right? That's in the same way, I, you know, people might expect you to follow the traffic laws or, you know, not off your neighbor if you get mad at them. Mm -hmm. We can expect a mother to care for her own kid. Because that's good to do. A lot of people have expectations and it sucks. You know? Yeah, well, that's part of life, right? We have things that we should do and the things that we shouldn't do. I think a good principle in life is to do good and stay away from evil. And there's no way, reason we have to protect an evil act like abortion. So, a... Uh I just don't get it. That's uh, well. Do you understand that this is a human being in the womb? I do. And do you okay, understand? Human beings alive. So the basic yeah. principle is you don't off innocent human beings. They have not done. They're they're not. 
anything yet. What do you mean they're not anything? They're a unique person. If you love them, they'll become like you and I. What defines a human? That organism, the unique organism of the human species. It has human DNA. It develops like a human, right? These are all ways we understand what we're looking at. But it's not fully functioning. Does that matter? Does fully functioning determine whether or not you're worth protecting? Yes, because you can't survive on your own. So if you can't survive on your own, you don't deserve to be protected. That's the principle you want me to accept? Seriously, does that make sense to you? Is that a good principle to live by? Those who cannot survive on their own, let's not protect them. You're completely misunderstanding. Well, you have to understand that we have to, under we have to comprehend the principles of the matter. And you're proposing an idea that would operate on a principle that I think you're realizing intuitively would lead to some very bad outcomes. If we just value humans because of what you contribute or your ability to survive on your own, whatever that means, a lot of human beings are not going to be protected. I would even argue every human being is not going to be protected because we're very dependent creatures. We're social beings. We thrive in society and we have to depend on other people to live the lives that we ought to live. So if we're going to start talking about dependencies and, and who to protect on that matter, a lot of us are not going to be, uh, are not going to be protected. You just can't force a woman to turn her body into a house without permission. Well, I'm not forcing women to get without... pregnant. I'm not forcing oh, women to get pregnant. That, but you're forcing yeah. the like the full term to carry and everything. You're, you're yes, forcing yes. birth. So yeah, I, I am. I am expecting you to care for your child, and if your child needs you in the womb, you ought to care for that child. If you're the only person that can care for an innocent human being. Yeah, you should be uh you should be expected to care for said child. Yeah. Um I you know even, I like... live by let me tell you another principle I live by. We shouldn't give protection or uh legal rights exactly. to, for people to do something bear. for people Please, to do something that they shouldn't do. The you would pick the bear? What are you talking 100%. about? What bear? What? I would pick the bear. Over me? Yep. Why? What have I done to not be picked over a bear? I feel like I've had a really nice conversation with you. It's been very cordial. Oh, yeah. I, I can definitely respect the fact that it's been cordial. I've had more heated discussions about this. But, um, no, I mean, I'd rather just make it quick. Just make it quick. What do you mean make it quick? I wouldn't hurt you. I would never hurt a woman. <laughs> what? I don't know Make that. what quick? What do you think I'm going to do? I don't know that. I don't know okay. you from anyone else. Do you have anything else to say about the topic? Um, yes. You can't force people to do anything. They are not sure. fully developed. You can't, like, you're placing so much. Yeah, well, we do it. force people to do things. But you're uh, we do force so people to act a certain way. It. Societies have expectations and they have norms. And to the most, for the most part, whether you're legally obliged to do something or not, those obligations exist. And to some extent, we make sure that you are forced to do something through the law and to some extent just as a social collective we have uh, expectations on how you should act that's why things like cancel culture exist right um and that's very normal so why do you have such high expectations though like have they not bit you, bit you in the ass yet sorry for my language but like how so what I mean, have i said that you, will come back and bite me in the ass expectations for other people you're just going to get let down. Like, why Why are you basing things? No, on I don't think that's people? true. I think that we've had a, a very beautiful country here. I think that our founding fathers created a place that has become the most equitable and just country that has ever existed. So I don't think that America is letting me down. This is a great place to live. Um, the poor people in this country have iPhones. Uh, I think that speaks to to something. That, that, that That's very, um, to have that sort of technology in your hands without having a lot of money. I think uh, speaks to how far we've come as a species, but also um, to the greatness of this country. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not let down by trying to pull the virtue out of the people. I think that's actually our obligations when it comes to uh, political speech is to do things that will 
help people, um, help protect people, but also help people do what they should do. So what are you forcing the male party to do in this case? Well, one thing that I don't support is no-fault divorce. I think that if you want to leave your wife and it's not because of abuse or, you know, some very serious situation like that, um, you ought not do it. There's no reason um, outside of those uh, very difficult situations. So uh, I would support policies and uh, from a cultural perspective, I would promote a, a place where men feel obligated and they are expected to stay with their wives to raise their children to be fathers that all is totally fine with me okay so from everything i haven't been here long but have from everything that i've heard thus far sure. everybody is throwing out you know special circumstances you know, essay or, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know, I'm not going to list them all, but, you know, I've been essayed, didn't have an abortion, didn't get pregnant, nothing like that. But, you know, the depression and then um, things that came after that, I could not imagine mixing with, you know, postpartum. Like, that's not safe for someone's sanity or anything like that. But regardless, there's so many circumstances that everybody is listing in here. And I just want to say there should not be special circumstances. Like, why are we singling things out? Oh, because these people are, they have a special case. Nope, they're allowed. It doesn't matter. So I, I don't really know what you're trying to say. Do you think that you should be able to off an innocent human being because your life is going to be difficult? Yes. I disagree. Why can't you off a one-year-old then? Why don't we allow that? Or should we allow that? Would you make that argument? They've already had potential. They're fully grown and they honestly... They already had potential? What do you mean by that? They're fully developed. They're not fully developed. That's not true. I'm saying all of their organs are there. Like, uh, yeah, a lot. most of their organs are... Or all their organs are there in the womb at yeah, some they, point. Yeah, every child needs guidance and... But, like, they need to be fully grown. So you're, everybody, like, you were talking about... What like, does that mean, fully grown? grown? Do you mean when the brain fully develops? When you're, yes. like, 25, when it finishes developing? No. Can you even make the argument it goes beyond that? What are you talking about, fully grown? Organs, like, every, like, you're... Do you believe that the organs of a one-year-old are fully developed? Full term. Okay, but... That doesn't mean anything to me because you're saying fully developed and when you're outside the womb, you're not fully developed. You're still developing. Children are adolescents. They are in the stage mentally. of growing. And you yes, say mentally? They, yeah. No, yes. physically as well. They are physically <laughs> growing, but they're not producing organs. Okay. Not, why does that matter? They're developing. They're, not, they're still developing. What's the point not here? What's the principle? Eyeballs. Sure. I mean, the eyes begin within the first trimester. I don't know what the point is here. I'm What's the point? Concerned. Just because the organs are, are present, so you would have a cutoff inside the womb? The organs are present inside the womb. Okay, but they're not self-sufficient. Uh, I don't even know what you mean by that. They're not self-sufficient. Um... I mean, if they're not self-sufficient in the womb because they're being sustained by a second party like the mother, then they're not self-sufficient outside the womb because they're still going to be sustained by a second party, their mother or some sort of guardian. So I don't know what you mean by that term, self-sufficient. The being's going to be dependent on you inside the womb. And honestly, it's going to be a lot worse outside the womb because the being's going to be even more dependent on you. It's going to be a lot more work. <laughs> so... I don't know. I think that if, if dependency is something that you care about, then maybe you should support infanticide because um, it's a much bigger obligation and form of dependency outside the womb, actually. There's much more you have to do. But I guess I'll let the mothers speak on that. I think a lot of them would say that. Not to say pregnancy is easy. Don't get mad at me, moms. Um, but I think that children are very difficult to raise. <laughs> a little bit. Um, I mean, I don't think we should be, again, 
for whole life sam said mm-hmm. yes and she's a mom of two she agrees that it's quite difficult to raise them outside the womb maybe even to the extent that she would say harder than inside the womb so i don't know this this whole idea of dependency i don't totally buy but anyway elena or elena i do want to end so i appreciate you coming up i appreciate you being uh good faith oh, that's going to be it for me tonight okay yep have a great night thanks for your time yeah you too all right that will be it for me tonight guys i've got the discord server it's a great way to support me it's away from these big tech platforms people on TikTok get taken down all the time um i'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff on x uh x at one point did not have a video feature on their spaces but i just looked the other day and they do so i'm gonna try doing one of these over there at some point um so if you want to follow me on x it's also a great way uh to to not miss out on this type of stuff uh because it might be full time over there at some point if we can if we can pull pro choicers in um i've never done it yet so it's something i'll have to experiment with um but i appreciate those of you who've been here the whole time uh, maybe you've just been here for a few minutes i hope you've enjoyed these conversations uh, and i hope that if you're pro-choice you've at least considered the pro the pro-life position that you understand that it's good willed and it's based in equality the equality of value between men and women between child and adult and this principle of protecting a child's life um, which i think at face value you can all probably accept are, are good things in our life good night to you too sugar it's always it's always good to have you around thank you so much for protecting human life well thank you for being here by you being here you've actually helped me gain a bigger audience to talk about a really important political issue so thank you uh the fact that you're a man talking about this yeah i know it's so crazy w james thank you tiff i appreciate that have a good bro much love thank you appreciate it it's always men that talk about abortion. That's actually not true. I, I, when I see these mainstream uh, pro-life communities and companies, they tend to be mostly women. But that's just the optics. Go ahead and get the numbers for me. I think that that will still actually be proven true, but <laughs> go, go look into it. Um, yes, thank you, Emily. I appreciate it. All right, a few more minutes, guys. If you want to say anything else in the comments, I'm happy to respond. W. James may have uh, blessed dreams tonight. Yeah, hopefully. I'll have a blessed rosary in about uh, a few minutes. Thank you, Ian. I appreciate it. What's your reason for wanting abortion to be banned? Because it's not justified. Simply, you're offing an innocent uh, child. Not good. L. James, okay. Uh, how can it be required if neither has crossed the boundary of being or cheating? I think you're responding to somebody else. Discord server, guys. Um, I'll be around there if you have any more comments or anything. Do you allow pro-life on the panel? Uh, not really, because I think it's easier to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with individuals. Uh, but I do occasionally do lives with other people. Um, so, okay, very nice, Tiff. Why just reply to what you like? Uh, I'm not just replying to what I like, but enslaving women for their reproductive capacity. Is I haven't pro I haven't proposed that we enslave women for their reproductive capacity, and nobody in the pro-life movement has proposed that. We just simply think that you shouldn't be able to off your child. Very simple, guys. It can be justified, maybe, it just doesn't suit you. Well, no, justice can be objective, right? It's wrong to just cut the head off of a day old because a child is not owed that. The child is owed life because they're a human, <laughs> right? So um, maybe you can argue from some sort of weirdo subjective view that that would actually be good. But first of all, nobody's going to take you seriously. And second of all, it's quite evil to have positions like that. So let's use. Um, let's use principles that are actually good, that actually produce, um, produce positive and, and thing, things and, and, and societies that are worth protecting. Okay, that's it.